everybody welcome back to Chamberlain Family Farms winter has hit hard here in Indiana we have still got a lot of work here on the farm to do so stick around and enjoy our video <laughs> Yesterday we moved these guys back to the third paddock and we had the upgrades. We have the round bale, which you can tell that they have definitely gone after. Inside here, they're able to come in now and get in out of the weather, if we're having weather. <laughs> And uh, from the looks of it, they did come in last night. I see a little bit of their leftovers. So hopefully they're gonna enjoy their new, new area here. All right, as you can see, this, uh, this hay I put up here, I mean, they pretty much already got it gone. I mean, you still got one or two out there nibbling on that stuff, but they want that protein. They know winter's coming. They want to fatten up. That one, that one there just wants to play. She just wants to climb. This is why it's so important to keep an eye on your animals and their water. Look at this. So we're going to have to really keep an eye on that because that's how cold it is right now. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the homesteader's friend coffee can. And not just a coffee can, but you got your chili, got your green beans. I don't even know what the crap that is, probably some soup. But either way, these containers come in handy for so many different things. That one's got screws and bolts in it. Uh, nail screws, bolts, feed scoops. Odds and ends. Now, if you've seen the previous ones, we, we use one of these too for uh, putting the fence clips whenever we was putting up fencing, just so it wouldn't spill. So, Make sure you hold on to your containers. And when Jen, she tries to throw these things away on me, because <laughs> I, I hoard them, because I use them on so many different things. I mean, I get mad when she does that, so. And we have 15 yeah. of them laying around, and yep. they're on my area. Then I start throwing them away, and he starts digging in the trash. Yeah. So you can also cut them, and you can make like a feeder out of them, put a couple holes and wire it. Now the rabbits, if you put this in with the rabbits though, they'll start chewing on the sides and everything. They'll actually eat the plastic, chew it down because they, they got to get their teeth, which is why you, why you want to put a piece of wood in there. But anyway, hold on to your containers. Oh, also your big containers too. Those are great for feed yeah. bags. As far as feed goes, these 55 gallon drums, whether they be metal or plastic, it don't really matter. They're great. I got two bags of feed in here. And really, you could just dump this in there and it'll hold a lot of feed. You just scoop it out. And, uh, but you can also use like a, a refrigerator. A lot of people do that. Then deep freezers that ain't working, that people are just looking for somebody to take for scrap. They make good feeders. It keeps the mice out of them, which winter, fall and winter time, they're the worst, but they'll do it all year round. They'll be getting in your bags and making little babies all around there, a bunch of rodents. So you need to keep your uh, feet cleaned up. A barn cat helps with that too. But The other day when I was out here pushing some of this brush and everything, this uh, tree here, which has still got the roots. I was coming back. And anyway, this thing came up really hard and pulled my hose, my hydraulic hose. 
and it's supposed to go into here. I took the fitting off already, but the fitting broke in half. So now I got to go to the store to get another one. Now, if you guys don't know, Napa, which I'm not, I don't get paid through them or anything like this. I'm just telling you where I go. Napa is about everywhere and they do deal with tractor parts and pretty reasonable price. So if you guys are having trouble looking for tractor parts, I would check with them first. But you might, you might actually have some at your local farm store. It just depends on per store, you know, if they order anything like that. But anyway, we gotta get this fixed, get some hydraulic oil in it, and then we'll be ready to start clearing brush again. And I still gotta go get a chainsaw bar for my smaller chainsaw because, I mean, we do got a bigger chainsaw now, but I don't need a big chainsaw to do this small brush and these small trees. But we gotta go buy some stuff today. The goats found a way to climb up and get some of that green. All right, so we're gonna move them uh, chicks. They're probably about half grown now. Got 15 of them. We got 13 of the older chickens. So they're all gonna come together and it'll be easy to tell which ones are older ones whenever we go to butcher them, but which most of the older ones will be butchered. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. It's full of manure, and which I don't really like doing in the fall, but it needs to be cleaned, especially since we're bringing other chickens. So I don't want them to get sick or anything like that. And all this, all that rich nitrogen organic matter is going all over the garden. So boost up next year. Next year's crop. Correct way to haul chickens. <laughs> Putting the chicks we hatched from egg into the big coop. All right, we got all the all 15 of the chicks in there. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to open up the door and let them in with the others. Now them older chickens and newer chickens ain't gonna get along too well at first, but they should be big enough to kind of hold their own. And I took all the aggressive roosters and we done ate them, so should just be mostly hens. Now again we hatch these out so some of these hens are actually the mamas of these babies but <laughs> this here is a potbelly uh, army heater stove they have in the barracks or they used to have in the barracks as you can see here it says US Army of course you can cook and stuff up here military style but what I'm gonna try to do today is I'm gonna try to get it good enough where it goes out out the wall and I'll probably take another one of these black pipe like this on the outside this is not outside pipe by the way but I just want to try to get this thing heated up so we're going to put another pipe extended further away from the building and just light a small fire just to kind of check any gaps and stuff in here as well and then later on we'll take stuff like this 
which is three wall, which is what you want for go out, go out through the wall and on the outside to keep it from rusting and to keep, keep this insulation and wood from catching on fire. So after we put this on, we'll have to figure out where we're going to put the hole. We'll run, run that stuff out through the wall and then we'll be ready to go up. But like I said, I'll have to get more material before we do that. So I've got a couple pieces on. I've got this bottom one bolted. I'll probably have to do something here to kind of keep the smoke and everything. Put some like a liquid gasket kind of hold in place but anyway I got this this one on but then this will go right down over there where it'll be going out the building but before I do that I gotta put a damper on and what this will do is this will kind of help regulate the heat and the smoke so figure about where we want this So I got a smaller bit, so I'm only able to do one side at a time. I made the hole just a little bit smaller than this, so I had to wall her through because I don't want a whole lot of smoke coming out through here. But you got to have a damper if you want to regulate your heat and your and your airflow. So. Now you can buy buy this stuff already made up, but it's a little cheaper if you just do it yourself. So. On the outside, this is what uh, you bolt up on the outside. And this sucks all this in. This will go on the top one. And you got some more brackets. This is just a kit I got off Amazon. Like I said, we're gonna need a lot more of this. So these are the cheaper ones. You just kind of do yourself, they just snap. I don't know if you can see the edges. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and stick it in there and make it snap. So you get on both ends with your thumb and your fingers. Kind of pull it, you can see the line there. Keep it as long as you can. Gonna kind of just snap it. And once you got it started, as you can see, it's still not all the way in. So what you're gonna do now? Not that. So you can see this end, 
we got it completely in on this end. This end's close, but it still ain't there. And there we go. She's in. So now what we'll do, since we got both the ends in, we'll just kind of go through there and make sure. Sometimes you'll hear it pop, sometimes you don't. We hope you enjoyed watching Chamberlain Family Farms. You can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com. You can also check us out on Facebook, Chamberlain Family Farms. We hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.